So MSP 432 is a microcontroller which is having ARM Cortex M4 inside that. So this will be the chapter overview, right? So here in this course, MSP 432 uh, module, we'll be dealing with a particular microcontroller variant known as MSP 432P401R. Right. Because in the last semester, we have studied a microcontroller known as LPC2148. Right. It was having ARM version 4, 40. Right. But here, MSP432 P401R, it is having ARM Cortex M4. That is a ARM variant name. And which version it is having? ARM Cortex M3 means it was which version? So it is having ARM version 7. ARM Cortex M3 was coming under the version known as ARM version 7. So M4 is also coming under ARM version 7. Right. So here we are having ARM Cortex M4 as the processor present inside this microcontroller. So it is a 100 pin IC. Right. It is having 256 KB on chip flash memory so it is used for storing the program then it is having 64 kb on chip sram it is used for storing data so 64 kb sram is there then many on chip peripherals are there as seen in most of the microcontrollers so your controller name is msp432 p401r inside this arm cortex m4 processor core is there so this is a complete high level block diagram of MSP 432P 401R. Right. So here you can see so many peripherals are there. Right. This is your CPU. So inside the CPU you are having Cortex M4F micro um, uh, uh, memory protection unit is there. NVIC system tick timer, flash patch and breakpoint data watch point and trace instruction instrumentation trace macro cell trace point interface unit jtag and swj these many peripherals are present in the along with the arm cortex and four right all these things we have already seen in the first semester and the last portion jtag and swg is used for on chip debugging right single wire and JTAG debug access port, right? So this will be your complete CPU. And all the other peripherals, then flash RAM you can see, flash memory you can see, SRAM you can see. So all the other things are present here. Then DMA is there. So this is a general block diagram of the MSP432, this particular microcontroller. So this is a memory map of MSP432. 401R. From 000 to 3FFF, it is having flash memory. That is why it is known as 256 KB flash memory. Then from 2000 onwards, you are having the SRAM till 200 FFF. Then all the peripherals are present from 4000 to 4001 FFF. All the peripherals, IO peripherals means all the GPIO as well as all the peripherals, whatever we have seen, such as timer, ADC, UART, etc. So, in this space, all the peripherals are mapped in this space. Then, this is a naming conversion a convention for MSP 432. What does this name mean? So, MSP means, and what is the expansion of MSP? Mixed signal processor. That means it can handle both analog as well as digital data. In addition to that, it is ha it can handle so many DSP operations also. Okay. So it is why it is that is why it is known as mixed signal processor MSP. Then 432 stands for the 432 platform name. So MSP 432 is having Cortex M4. MSP430 is having other processor that is having lesser capability. It is only 16-bit. 
this one is 32 bits right so this is the platform number which decides which core is present in this controller so in 432 the core is arm cortex m4 then the next next p stands for the series more details of the series we will see in the next slide so p stands for series so p stands for performance microcontroller here performance will be more that is why p then 401r defines the feature set so more explanation of the feature set also we'll see in the next slide right so 401r defines the feature set then i if you are having the other term these the, the, this represents the other uh, physical parameters so i stands for it represents the temperature range pz stands for the packaging type Normally, you may have seen ICs with dual inline package, DIP package. But LPC2148, what you have seen in the first last semester, it is having, generally it is coming in QFP package, quad flat package. That means on all the four sides, pins will be there. Right. DIP package means dual inline package only on both the sides of the IC pins will be there different packages also it is available so pz shows the packaging then next one t shows the distribution formats so all these things are not needed for our purpose but we are explaining then if there are some numbers it will show the additional features other than what is specified in this uh, feature set and the series Right. So, this is a naming convention of MSP432. More explanation is given here. So, processor family. So, MSP stands for mixed signal processor. If the processor family is XMS, it is experimental silicon. Nowadays, I think we are not using this. Only MSP is used. Then, 432 microcontroller platform. What does it mean? It is TI's 32 bit low power microcontroller platform with the cortex m4 core right so it is a 32 bit low power microcontroller platform with the cortex m4 as the core but if you are taking msp 430 it will be having only 16 bits it is having a dedicated or it is used for 16 bit operation it is 16 bit processor right so 432 we are having 32 bit low power platform generally msb based microcontrollers are used for low power applications then series what was the series shown here it was p p stands for performance and low power series right so even though it is low power it is having good performance so low power and performance series if the p instead of p if it is r or uh, if there are some other alphabets, the uh, it will be used for some other purpose. So P stands for performance and low power series. Then we have seen the feature set. What does the feature set? 401R. So what does the first digit 4 means? It shows it is a flash based device and it can operate up to 48 megahertz. It is a low, it is a flash based device. It can operate up to 48 megahertz. Then second digit that is for zero. Zero means what? It is a general purpose processor or general purpose microcontroller. That is the second digit zero. First, uh, the third digit one, what does it mean? It is having 14 bit ADC. ADC 14 is there. Then fourth digit is R. What does R shows that? R means it is having 256 KB flash, 64 KB SRAM. Instead of R, if it was M, what will be that? 128 KB flash, 32 KB SRAM. So instead of R, if it was M, it is having less amount of SRAM and flash. Almost it, it will be half of the R version. Then optional temperature range we have seen. So temperature range can have S, I or T. 
right here temperature range was speci specified here here it is i right so it can have s i or t s stands for this controller can operate from 0 to 50 i stands for it can operate from 40 to 85 degree without any problem t stands for it can operate from negative 40 to 100 degrees Celsius. so in say military or some kind of applications like that where extreme environments has to be handled t variant will be used it can operate from negative 40 to positive or 105 degree then packaging if it is written p is that it means it is having low profile lqfp means low profile quad flat package quad flat package means on all the four sides pins will be there low profile means the the height or the uh, the thickness of the chip will be lesser that is known as low profile normal quad quad flat package means the thickness will be higher but in low profile quad flat quad flat package means the thickness of the chip will be lesser so that it can be easily accommodated in portable devices or handheld devices then these are the memory zones present in a general msp432 micro uh, microcontroller right so here the only difference you can see that in sram area not in sram in the peripherals area it was told that in the previous case it was told from 4000 to 4001f you can see here 4000 to 4001f in the sram area it was from 2000 to 2000ff in io devices it is 4000 to 4001f 2000 to 2000ff in the case of msp 432 1r right but if you are taking the memory zone of msp 432 controller without the remaining uh, uh, without, without the remaining series that is a uh, general msp 432 series it will be from 2000 to 3ff and 4000 to 5ff why this there is an increase in the space because it it in this space the bit banding region will also be present bit banding region will also be included that means each bits can be accessed separately this is a memory zone of msp 432 general microcontroller so the difference in the uh, memory space is because of it has accommodated the bit banding region also bit banding we have already seen in the last in the initial module the debug and trace peripherals will be present in the higher region then we will see a brief history of msp 432 so initially ti has used its old microcontroller known as 8051 for their mixed signal process mixed signal processor means it can handle both the digital and analog signals that is why it is known as mixed signal processor after that ti came with a chip known as msp 430 why they have developed this because there was a need for low power ic 8051 was consuming high power so they need to develop a low power microcontroller that is why they have came with a chip known as msp 430 msp stands for mixed signal processor and the msp 430 was a 16 bit risk cpu which was developed exclusively by ti msp 430 was having 16 bit risk cpu it was not having any arm core or whatever it is there inside that it is having ta has developed its own proprietary 16 bit risk cpu but later on they found that the proprietary chip what they have developed was not uh, say if they are using generally accepted platform many of the vendors will be uh, many of the uh, product manufacturers will be buying their product so that programming and other things will be same as the general arm series so they have made some modification in msp 430 family and released it as msp 432 in 2015 so in msp 432 what is the difference it is having 32 bit arm cortex m4 because arm cortex m series it is a generally accepted platform over 
most of the product manufacturers and chip vendors so they have also adopted it in their msp 430 msp 432 is having 32-bit arm cortex m4 in that this is a small block diagram representation of the msp 432 this uh, block diagram almost we have seen it is having arm cortex m4 48 megahertz all the debugging peripherals are there then security module is there it was not present in the other uh, uh, lpc 21480 and all i told this MSP430 was developed for low power operation. This controller can operate from 1.62 volt to 3.7 volt. That was the main feature of MSP430 or MSP432 series. And generally, on an average, it can operate up to 85 degrees Celsius. Again, it is based on the particular number which is shown in the nomenclature. In order to operate it on this low power mode, it is having low power oscillators in addition to a programmable and controlled oscillator present in the msp 432 so low power oscillator is present here then most of the other peripherals are also there like timers system tick timer etc it is having uart i square csp everything is there in addition to all these things it is having analog peripherals such as ADC and two analog comparators are there. That is why it is known as mixed signal processor. Analog comparators are there. That means it can compare analog signals what is given as input to it. It is having a temperature sensor interface and a capacitive touch IO interface generally. So whatever it is shown as in the yellow color that is same as what is present in 16-bit MSP430. Whatever it is shown in the gray color, it will be present in MSP432. 